today I am showing you guys my all-time favorite home decor thrift finds and I'm so excited. I've gathered up like all of my favorite thrifted treasures that I keep around our apartment. There's a little bunny right next to me. She just jumped up on the couch. Oh, bye. So these are kind of in no particular order, but I am saving the best few things to last. So I was originally going to do just like my all time favorite thrift finds, um, but I realized that I had a lot of clothing and a lot of home decor. So I'm splitting them into two videos. If you guys want to see the clothing version of this, please let me know um, and I will make that happen for you. All right, I'm gonna get started. So the first thing that I found for $2 at a thrift store in Orange County is this super cute little clay watering can. And this is really dirty, <laughs> I need to clean it. But the reason that I love this is A, the shape is so, so cool. And it makes the best photo prop. I use this in a lot of the photo shoots I do for my Instagram. Um, I don't actually really use it to water plants very often. I have it like sitting on a shelf and looking pretty. Um, but it just makes me really happy every time I look at it. And you can tell it's just like really old and used. And I don't know, I just think it's really cool. The next things that I found at a flea market that I absolutely love are these like vintage um, botanical prints and I just grabbed one of them um, because I didn't want to grab them all because I have like six or seven of them um, and these were six for five dollars so super super cheap and they're just from old old books they're like pages taken out of books basically um, and they line my hallway I kind of sandwiched them in between two um, pieces of wood that I put magnetic strips on and then hung them by some twine and I think that these are so sweet and I don't know I really love vintage home decor but it can be a challenge sometimes to incorporate like newer pieces with older pieces and these a are in such good condition um, but also I feel like the really muted colors and just the fact that it's like um, I don't know it's supposed to be kind of like a textbook kind of a thing it just gives a really cool old vintage vibe and these make me really happy. I'm gonna say that a lot because these are the things that like I have found at the thrift store that have made my heart so, so happy. Like when you see something and you're like, oh, I can't believe they have that. And then you put it in your house and every time you look at it, you smile. Like every single one of these pieces that I'm showing you guys is one of those. So speaking of wall art, that's probably gonna yell at me <laughs> for picking this up myself because it's quite heavy and I am pregnant. Um, but it's not that heavy. The doctor said I'm okay up to 25 pounds, and this is probably like 10, so no big. Um, is this, I can't even fit it all in the frame, but it's a vintage automobile map of Southern California, which if you guys have been following this channel since I lived down there, will know that that's where I grew up and where I desperately want to move back. <laughs> um, our hometown is right, Dustin, right there. <laughs> and I don't know, I don't love the frame, that this came in, um, but I really, really love the print and I got it knowing that we were probably going to move up to Seattle at some point. Um, so it's really cool to have that hanging in our house because it's kind of like a special personalized detail of where I grew up. Then I have a couple of kitchen things and these might seem a little bit silly that these are like my all time favorite finds, but this bowl I use all the time. It is my favorite bowl for baking, for making bread, um, basically anything that involves any kind of dough goes in this because it's the perfect size. I really love um, the texture on the sides. This reminds me of like the bowls that my grandma had growing up. Um, and again, it's vintage, but it's also dishwasher safe, which I really love, so it's not that vintage. And they actually had two of these when I got this one. They had this one and they had one that was slightly bigger. And I kick myself all the time for not getting that other one because I love this one so much and I use it all the time. Then something else that I've thrifted that I also love is this teeniest, tiniest little wooden cutting board. And I don't know why this makes me so happy. I think because it's just like, small it's the perfect size for if I'm like cutting up like charcuterie stuff for just me and Matt like before dinner um, and I love the handle and this is old like it is really really worn in the wood is like super nice quality but it's got like knife scratches all over it and the sides are like super worn and it just feels like 
somebody else's like family history like in the kitchen and making food or whatever is like in this and so every time I like use it I feel like I'm adding a little bit to that legacy and I know that's so silly because it's just a cutting board but it's so cute and I can also display this and it's really adorable another item that I found at a value village that I really really love is this accordion shelf um, this is normally by our door and I hang all my purses and my umbrella and my scarf and everything on it and I see these like on the internet a lot and I know you can also buy them new but it was really cool to find one at a thrift store a because it was you know more affordable um, but I think these are really cool and like a little bit farmhousey not too farmhousey and it's a lot prettier than like a traditional coat rack and I think these are actually supposed to like hold mugs um, but if you've been on Instagram for more than like a day you've seen people like hanging clothes and stuff on them and they're so so cute so now getting into the really juicy stuff I had been looking for one of these like rattan peacock um, chair plant stands forever and I found one at Goodwill and I want to say it was like three dollars and it had like ribbon and lace like hot glued all around it and it was like not cute <laughs> but I was able to pull it off and remove most of the glue so you can still see glue on it if you look real closely but honestly nobody's gonna be looking at it that hard and I think this is so cute to just sit a little plant on I feel like I have so many plants after a while all the pots are like okay what can I possibly do with like this plant that's different than everything else um, to have a little bit of like design going on this this is what you can do <laughs> with those kinds of plants so so cute and then my next item is a human sized rattan chair so i have to mention this one wasn't actually thrifted it was purchased from my favorite secondhand seller so it was a little bit more pricey than it would have been had i like found it at a thrift store but i still wanted to mention it because i think it is so unique it's like a barrel chair kind of a style and it's lower to the ground and i think this is so beautiful we're probably going to put this in the baby's nursery why did nursery sound so weird when I said it? Nursery, Nur nursery, the baby's room. <laughs> um, and I sewed a little linen like cushion for it. And I just think it's so beautiful and neutral and boho. And I'm so glad that I bought it, even though when I bought it, I did not have space for it anywhere in this apartment, but we're gonna make it work. <laughs> then since I'm talking about my favorite secondhand seller, I'll leave her Instagram page in the description because I love her stuff. Um, I also really love this 70s rattan bathroom shelf that I purchased from her. This is the coolest like shelf that goes above the toilet and it has this cool like floral pattern on the side and I swear it looks like something you would buy at like Urban Outfitters but it's actually like authentic like old um, which is so cool and I much prefer because A, the quality is a lot nicer and B, it's just more unique and it has like a history to it, which I really like. And then you probably already saw this coming because I talk about this shelf a lot. My all time favorite thrifted home decor item that I've ever found is this rattan bookshelf that I got at Value Village for $13. I am obsessed with this thing. There are so many different ways to style it. Right now it's kind of just a storage area while we're getting the baby's room all set up, but I think eventually we're gonna put his books and toys on it. And this is the most special, unique piece I can't believe that I got it for $13. I can't believe I found it at a thrift store to begin with because people sell them online for like 200 bucks, which is just nuts. Um, but it was for sure my most exciting thrift find of my entire life thus far. I really, really love it. So those are all of my all-time favorite home decor thrift finds. I hope that I find a million more items like this in the future. Um, I find so much joy in thrifting, especially because I know it's better for the environment. It's definitely better for my wallet. And I feel like my home has more of a like personal and unique touch to it than it would if I was buying all of my furniture and like decor stuff from big box stores. I would love to know what your all-time favorite thrift find has been in the comments down below because I'm always looking for inspiration and trying to decide like what I should be looking for when I go to thrift stores because I feel like a lot of these things, if I wasn't specifically looking for them, I would have passed right by them. Um, 
and then some of them are just nice surprises so you got to have a good balance please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already if you want to see the all-time favorite thrift find clothing edition um hint this dress is going to be in it um and give this video a big old thumbs up i hope you guys have an awesome day wherever you are and i will see you all in my next video bye